You've probably experienced it before. You're walking down a long hallway, maybe at school, at work, or even at home at night, and suddenly you feel like someone is right behind you. You don't hear anything, you don't see anything, but the sensation is so strong, it makes you turn around. Why does this happen? The biggest reason is evolutionary instinct. Humans are wired to detect threats approaching from behind. In open spaces like long hallways, your brain becomes alert because the space creates a vulnerable feeling. You're exposed, you're moving forward, and your back is unprotected. Your survival system kicks in, scanning for danger even when none exists. Another factor is sound amplification. Hallways often have smooth walls and floors that echo footsteps, sometimes your own. These echoes bounce back faintly, and your brain may mistake them as someone else's steps. Even small movements, like your clothing rustling or your breathing, can sound louder and feel like another presence in tight, empty spaces. There's also spatial distortion. Long hallways create tunnels of sound and air pressure. Your brain senses the empty space behind you and fills in the silence with possibilities. In the absence of information, your mind assumes the safest option, stay alert. Lighting also plays a role. Dim or uneven lighting creates shadows and depth that make the hallway feel uncertain. Your peripheral vision might pick up tiny movements or flickers, triggering a feeling of being followed. Add in psychological priming from movies, horror stories, and childhood experiences. Hallways are iconic, creepy settings. We've been trained to expect something behind us in narrow, empty spaces. Lastly, long hallways limit escape routes. Your brain becomes more defensive when there's only one direction to go. That heightened awareness easily transforms normal sensations into the feeling of a presence behind you. So when you walk down a long hallway and feel someone following you, it's not paranormal. It's your survival instincts, sensory perceptions, and imagination working together to keep you alert in vulnerable spaces.